Happy Sunday, everybody. Say it with me now. Dreams come true. I wanted to take a quick trip out to the Magic Kingdom today because I know that the holiday season is over. So I wanted to see if all of the holiday decorations were down or if some of them were still up or what's going on at the Magic Kingdom. Also today was the marathon day. So yesterday's half marathon was canceled. Today they ran the marathon and I think it's gonna be very busy in the park. So I'm interested to see that. And I can't wait to show you guys how busy it is today. Cause we are heading into a slow season. That's why they started doing the run Disney events was to like boost attendance to the parks during the slow season. So let's see. Let's see how busy it is. Monorail's down right now, so we're waiting on the ferry boat, and here it comes. Look at that view of the Magic Kingdom. Coldest day of the winter, and they're putting us on the boat. Good times. I'm on the boat now, and looking at this pylon, holy cow, that's a lot of change. Wow, and we're on our way. Eventually, we'll get to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> January 8th, we still got lots of decorations up at the Magic Kingdom. Holy macaroni, it's a lot warmer inside of the park than it was on that ferry. That ferry was so cold, but it feels good in here, it's not bad. With the sun shining, it's really nice. The Main Street Christmas tree is still out, and Stitch and Pluto are out here meeting and greeting. Pretty fantastic. So with all of the decorations still out, I wonder when they take them down, because with Halloween, it's like the day after Halloween, there's no more Halloween decorations up, but it's the 8th of January, well after Christmas. Lots of Christmas decorations still up. Oh my goodness, look at Daisy in the confectionery window and her awesome outfit. And look at all these treats you could get inside the confectionery. Oh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are all dressed up. Hey, where's the last one? Is this just Huey and Dewey? No Louie? Oh, over here. There he is. I ran over to see the Dapper Dans and they're running away. Oh, I crossed the street and they're coming over to that side. Well, darn it. I see that. That's disgusting. You should probably wipe your hands off. Drum solo! Thank you! Thank you! Congratulations on being Grand Marshal!
stopped by the Skipper Canteen to see the new alcoholic offerings here. So I stopped there, got a menu yeah. to see the alcoholic offerings for Skipper Canteen, and it wasn't in that menu. I guess they have a special table menu where you can see it's like four wines and two beers that are available, but they're not on the outside menu. They're not advertising it anywhere that you can go in and get alcohol there. You just kind of have to know or just happen to be eating there and notice, oh, hey, they do serve alcohol here. Kind of an interesting tactic. Swung by Jungle Cruise to see if it was still Jingle Cruise, and it looks like it's not. The sign is now back to Jungle Cruise, but all of the other Christmas decorations are still up, and we found out that the last day for decorations will be January 11th. Swinging by Island Supply by Sunglass Hut to see if they offer the Mickey Ray-Bans. This was one of the places you could buy them. I wonder if they've sold out of them or if they're still available. So we asked them, and they said they sold out after day two, which is pretty intense. Two days on sale, and they sold out of them. One of the things that I wanted to show while I was here today was the crowd level, which doesn't seem like it's that bad, although all of the wait times are kind of high right now. Stop by one of the other locations where they serve alcohol, Liberty Tree Tavern, and they didn't have it on the menu there either. Although she handed me a very small menu that just seemed to be drinks. So I didn't want to be like, where's all the food menu? But she's like, it's, I don't know. She didn't, maybe I didn't ask, I didn't say the secret word for her to give me a full menu. Hear ye, hear ye. I am James Jefferson, the town crier of Liberty Square. Yay. I'm James Jefferson, but all my friends, they just call me JJ. So you can do that too. Gather around, everybody. Your hair will stand on end with all the history and such. Well, this of course, you're a bowl like me, in which case, not so much. Hey, Sam! It's Sam Eagle, everyone! Yay! What great American story are we sharing today? Today, we shall salute the Declaration of Independence! Ah, a great story indeed. Great moments in history, but just the American hearts. Please remind everyone which great moment we are sharing today. The Declaration of Independence! Yay! Sam, the gang and I were talking and we had some ideas to make your show more entertaining. Entertaining? Mm -hmm. In a theme park? Yeah. Highly unusual. Please, do it with dignity. Oh, sure, Sam. We always do things with dignity. Hey, Kermit. The All Chicken Chorus is ready for their big number. What part will Moi be playing in today's performance? There's no part for you. No part for Moi? Uh -uh. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Sheesh. Hi, ho, Jefferson here. John Adams. Hey, that's me. Woohoo! And the highly quotable Benjamin Franklin. Ah, Ben Franklin here. A penny saved is a penny earned. The delegates are discussing the question of America's independence from England. And there is much debate. Debate. Uh, point of view. Uh, uh, opinion. Says you. Argument. Point. Uh, Counterpoint. Order. Order. I'll take two hot dogs with extra mayo. <laughs> Does anyone have any arguments in favor of England and King George? Boo! 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 Piggy, what are you doing here? I told you there's no part for you in this show. Of course there is! All hail Queen Georgia! Good grief. You are not a good ruler. Who? What? Yes, you. You mistreat the colonists. You raise taxes. You are drunk with power. The colonists are revolting! We are revolting! Say that again. We are revolting! All those in favor of declaring our independence from England and... Queen Georgette, say aye. 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 The ayes have it. Let's declare our independence. Yay! Queen Georgette, it appears you lose. Wait, what? I lose? In the American Revolution, England loses, which means the king, or the queen, loses. Excuse me? It is I, Georgette Washington. And I cannot tell a lie. I look I, Thomas Jefferson, will write the declaration, but I'm going to need everyone's help. Let's start with a list of demands, shall we? I demand a new cell phone, a big oh, dressing oh, I want a case of rubber chicken. chicken. When Jefferson wrote the declaration, it was more than a list of demands. What? what? Oh. Things worth fighting for. Th things that inspired the birth of a new nation. Like the declaration says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> Sam, why are you crying? I thought that was pretty good. It wasn't good. It was glorious. Yay! Yay! Let freedom reign! Great moments in history with just the American hearts. Everyone, we couldn't have done it without
without you. Uh, and to England, no hard feelings. You're still one of our best friends. The other place where you could get beer and well, you could just get champagne here is Cindy's Royal Table. I wonder if they have it written on the, the wall over here. Let's see, here's the menu. This is the first place that we've seen it and you can get champagne glasses and they have the beverage selection posted here. And also this is the first time that I've ever seen this on any restaurant in the Magic Kingdom. Wow, this is pretty interesting. I kind of like these little wine glasses though, or these little champagne flutes. I feel like this may be a travesty, but I've never had a hot dog at Casey's Corner. So we're gonna go inside and see what the line's like. Maybe I'll get one. Oh, it's not too bad, I don't think. Maybe, I don't really know. Can I go over here? This is like a really short line. There's my foot long hot dog that I got. The thing is gigantic. And just because Gonzo said so, I got some mayonnaise to put on my hot dog. See how it tastes. Our friend Mike got the featured hot dog, which is macaroni and cheese and bacon. This thing is ridiculous. On top of a foot long hot dog. Yay. Admittedly, that hot dog was pretty darn good. And I think I like mayonnaise on my hot dogs now. Check out this tote bag here for 30 bucks. It's cool, it's a 2017 Walt Disney World tote bag. And I like the star print up top. They have all their new 2017 merchandise out, like a calendar and a frame ornament. And it looks like new mini ears right there. And also, Cayenne is $24.99. Holy cow, those are some darn expensive mini ears. Check out this traveling coffee mug that looks like the one that I just showed you on the bag. Oh, they're like, this is Matchbox brand uh, Disney bus. And this is cool. It's like, this isn't Matchbox brand, but it's a Peterbilt Disney hauler. It's cool looking. I kind of like this mug kind of a lot. This is a $14.99 for this mug. Does it say anything on the other side? Walt Disney World 2017, kind of a cool mug. Why does Mickey have like a little pot belly? You guys see that? <laughs> like what is going on here? Is this how Mickey is? Or is he like sticking, sticking his stomach out? Inside the Emporium there's a whole section of hats and scarves and gloves for people that did not pack their hats, scarves, or gloves for this cold weather that they have that will be done uh, in like two days. I was looking for Magic Band 2.0s but I got distracted by this Happy Easter Magic Band. Why isn't that a 2.0? So we asked if they had any Magic Band 2.0s and he said that they sold out of all three styles yesterday. Oh goodness. They have one on display here, but I guess I can't get one? Very strange. So we got it, the Magic Band 2.0, one of three remaining at the Emporium, and we got it. All right, even though somebody told us once that they were all sold out, but now they had three left, so we got it. Very strange being at Disney and walking out to your car in the parking lot and a squirrel starts following you. I think it just peed right there. I think I caught it peeing on film. That's what that little shiver was. But it was running along this fence for the longest time, like right with us, and now it's just stopped. And I guess that's it. Bye squirrel. It was best friends. Oh, I know that that was just a quick trip out to the park, but man, we did a lot of stuff. And it was really interesting to see that some, like Jingle Cruise was gone but all the decorations were still up around the Magic Kingdom. I thought that that was interesting because like I said earlier, Halloween ends, it's like bam, Christmas. But like Christmas ends and it's like, eh, we'll get to it, <laughs> like eventually. So, had a lot of fun at the Magic Kingdom tonight, but we are off to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Ed from San Diego and it's now time to pay the price.